Hi, I'm Alex. Um, this is a video of me doing the new room where I'm moving in. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, me putting up the wallpaper and uh, also painting and doing uh, wall painting as a finishing touch to the room. So I'm gonna go through some of the pictures and explain what I'm doing. As you can see here, I'm preparing some wallpaper strips to put over there. Um, I'm doing this to uh, kind of make the edges smooth for uh, the finishing touch of the wallpaper. This makes it look uh, so much nicer. Okay, enough with the small pieces of wallpaper. Uh, now I started on the big ones, and uh, let me tell you, those are really hard to put up. Uh, luckily I had my mom to help me. Um, as you can see, it's pretty nice, you can see uh, where the edges meet, um, but that will be covered with uh, paint. Okay, so as you can see in the picture, I uh, skipped taking pictures of uh, me um, painting the walls. Uh, you probably all know how to paint your walls and it took me one and a half days, so I was just tired after that. Okay, so on to the fun stuff. Uh, all that before was practical work, but now I am doing a huge painting on my wall. Um, this is just for decoration and uh, I think this is what you've come to my video to see. So uh, let's get started on that. Okay, so as you can see I started off with painting a sky. Uh, I made those uh, more with different layers as you can see. Uh, starting from dark to going down to very light blue. Um, and this is how I normally create a sky. Uh, this was really hard doing um, seeing as... Um, this was a huge wall. Uh, I mean, if you haven't painted anything bigger than two meters, don't try this at home. Try that before. So try doing a really huge painting before you, you ruin your wall. Okay, so as you can see here, I did some clouds, uh, which I didn't take any pictures of alone. Um, and I also did a rough mountain uh, sketch. Uh, just a lot of paint on my brush and then I just uh, really went into it and kind of created this rocky terrain. Then I just filled it in with black. Uh, very simple. Okay, so now the harder stuff begins. Um, here I put on different shades of grey uh, and I did that with uh, some plastic foil just tapped it on there and then smoothed it out with my uh, with my brush uh, this is can, can be pretty hard to do um, so don't try this at home if you haven't done it on the canvas first here we have it again from another angle uh, where it's a little bit easier to see the shades Um, here I've gone into the, the painting with my brush and some different shades of grey uh, really trying to kind of make a, a sun somewhere over there where you can't see it uh, kind of hitting the rock uh, making it more believable make creating some shadows okay so here I put on some more white on the picture uh, the reason why I did that to kind of create a snow effect or sunlight effect uh, really to make um, the shadows really go into the picture and the highlights pop out okay so I started creating my valley um, and this is a, a part popping more out towards us um, to kind of make the mountains look like they're in the background okay so here's some more colors uh, of, of the landscape um, you have to be really fast when you do this uh, don't let the paint dry too much because otherwise it's really hard to work it into each other to kind of blend it um, yeah so the, here's some more pictures of how it, it progresses
Okay, so here I did some small pine trees. Um, I can show you how to do that in a video later. Uh, they're really easy to make. Here's the trees on the other side. The big grey blob in the middle is my lake before I put on the blue. Here I put um, light blue on, on uh, the lake and I also made some islands in the middle of the lake. Here I put some more motion into the water and I also did some stones around the pictures. I started on the trees in the foreground with just some normal black. Here I put on some some more black on the trees uh, to kind of create the shape and I also did some trees uh, in the middle of the lake. Here I colored the trees with two different shades of uh, green, uh, first dark green and then light green. I then did my signature on the rock in the corner in runes. Then I did some uh, more details into the grass and the foreground uh, to make it more believable. Then I did a lot of, of small flowers uh, all over the foreground to make it more lifelike and believable. And here we go folks. Um, this picture took me about three days to make but I'm very happy uh, with the outcome. And um, yeah, so uh, leave me a comment, uh, message, uh, inbox, whatever. Um, tell me what you think. Uh, like it, favorite it, uh, and most of all, subscribe if you really like it. And uh, stay tuned for new videos and more paintings and crazy stuff. So um, thank you guys. Yeah, bye.